once the superintendent of Josh Tree National Park asked me uh, what advice I might have for him as he moves into that new position, this was a, about 10 years ago, and I said, never name a national park after a plant because probably in 50 years, there will be almost no Joshua Trees in Joshua Tree National Park. My name is James W. Cornett. I'm a, a consulting ecologist. I've been studying desert environments my whole life. During the winter time, we would have picked up four inches and we got less than one. So there's a lot of Joshua Trees here, but they're not too dense. They're not particularly large and they're not as robust as you'll see in a second. Now, this tree here has shed one of its terminal leaf clusters uh, as, a water, as a desperate water-saving mechanism. We have entered a period of climate change where the climate is quite different today than it was 50 years ago. And what that means is that the temperatures are rising, uh, rainfall is declining, and perhaps most importantly for desert environments, the duration and intensity of droughts is increasing, and that's probably the most dramatic change we've seen. So Josh Trees in Josh Tree National Park, for example, are now living in an environment that is not really conducive to their uh, replacing themselves with young trees as the older trees die. So the older trees are now dying and they're not being replaced anymore. Uh, and that's pretty much the rule probably for two thirds of the Mojave Desert. There are a few exceptions, and Lee Flat is one of those. In 1994, a new area was added to Death Valley National Park, uh, an area called Lee Flat. And although, of course, Death Valley is, a portion of it is well below sea level, where we're going is over 5,000 feet. And at that location at Lee Flat would be uh, one of the finest examples of a Joshua Tree woodland that is expanding at the present time. Uh, by, by way of contrast, most Joshua Tree uh, populations in Joshua Tree National Park, for example, are declining in number. But the sun is so intense here. And so we've got 7.7.35. 7 I'd say this tree, give or take five years, probably about 110 years old. It's a 0.26 meters at this point. And let's see, gotta record that. These will grow uh, up to four or five inches in a single year if, if it rains. It's been a gradual shift, although I must confess, uh, at least in my experience, it became rather profound sometime in the late 1980s. Uh, that's when I first noticed that Joshua trees didn't seem to be doing very well in Joshua Tree National Park. I had three study sites there and on all three study sites, the uh, number of Joshua trees was slowly declining, roughly around two to three percent per year, and that hasn't stopped. Uh, the most noticeable difference was that an older tree would die, but there wouldn't be any young trees to replace it. You know, we're seeing 50 percent loss of trees in some areas, and um, the prognosis is, is very bad. And unfortunately, the trend seems to be getting worse. In other words, temperatures continue to climb, which means evaporation rates increase, and that, which means less water for the desert plants that, that, that are there, not just Joshua trees, of course. And then we're seeing a slight de decline in precipitation, about one or 2% per year. Uh, the big thing though is the intensity of droughts has increased. So the uh, droughts that are severe, where you receive below average rainfall in a single year, instead of just having those happening once about every 20 years, now we're seeing uh, three to five consecutive years of drought. And that's happening about twice as frequently in the last half of this, of the past 50 years than it was in the previous 50 years. 
and it's very difficult for plants and animals to survive three or four or five years of drought. One or two, maybe they can get through, but when you're talking three, four or five, it really means you're gonna change the biota, that there will be fewer animals, the diversity will decline, and there will certainly be fewer plants as well. And that's what we're seeing now.